is. And now you gotta get it back. And the way to get it back is to go back to the beginning. You know what I mean? afternoon good evening my name is JH what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to give you some information and I'm actually gonna use my little dry erase marker I'm going to put some things down so that you can actually see little tricks little methods on achieving some things that you may not have thought of little tricks little cheats that may help you financially later on little tricks little cheats when it comes down to your credit little tricks little cheats on how to use the post office your status to help yourself get your own self out of debt let's do this all right so first off Let's be realistic because I'm a realistic individual. If you don't want to hear this, then shut the video off. I don't care. If you're still here and you're still watching, let's talk, shall we? The average individual, the average person walks into the post office and we broke, we poor. I know we talked about that video before, but for some reason, we still treading water. We still trying to figure out how to get ourselves out of debt. So I figured out a couple little cheat codes that worked for me, okay? Credit was messed up, ex-wife, all type of stuff, injured. Hey, it was it was real life. I'm a real person. I don't know if y'all figured this out. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I think y'all are my brothers and sisters, so we gonna keep chatting. You got some debt? You got some notches on your credit? And you like, man, what we gonna do about it? You got a $350 bill. These are our bills over here. So we're going to turn this around. That's your bills. Okay, you got one $350 bill. You got a, a, a $450 bill. Okay, now these bills hit your credit report right now. It's crazy. It's crazy, but it happens. It happens. Stuff like this happens. Okay, these are your doctor's bills. These are your other bills. These are your repo bills. It's a bill, bill, bill. We just gonna throw some numbers there. You see the bills? The bills, bills. Okay, so now you got those bills and they messing up your credit. Tearing life up and you like, man, they calling you while you at work and you scressed out. That's S-K-R-E-S-S-E-D. -S -S -E yeah, scressed out. And I mentioned about this loan place before and I leave them information in the video description. But because you are a federal worker, you have the access, after six months, you have the access to this emergency, all right? This emergency, two grand, okay? Is there's an emergency, it got a little interest rate, but follow me now, follow me. So you got this going on in your life. You have this break in case of emergency, break glass in case of emergency is right there. Okay, and you got these that are sitting on your credit and they're stressing you out. Your credit score is low. You can't make no power moves. You're like, man, I can't figure this out. I can't afford to pay them back. I'm still trying to pay things off. I'm still trying to get ahead. But remember, you got this. And as you pay them back, they always increase it. They're like, you know, pay, make six payments on time or 10 on time and they go up to 3,000 and so on and so forth. But let's stick with the two grand, okay? Let's stick with the two grand. You got all these other bills here. So you did diligent and you called this guy up and you said, hey, I, I want to settle this, man. I want to settle this. And they'll usually settle it for half, okay? So if you got to pay half of it, now you got 175 for that one, okay? There's 175 for that one. You got 250 you got 225 there, right? 225 there. And this one is 700 you got 350 there. 
Okay, so you got 350. I know I'm just writing some pigeon scratch because I'm trying to do this while I'm talking. I told you I'm a normal person with normal everyday things going on. Now you got this $2,000, right? You don't call these people up. Now you got this one bill that you're going to pay $175. Say, listen, I'll pay this off if you promise to delete it off my credit or cancel the collections account. Think about that. You pay them half, they cancel your collection account. This will be canceled. This will be canceled. You got 350 plus 275, that's 575 right there, plus another 175. 575, that's 650. That's 750. Okay, that's 750. 750. Okay? You use 750 of these dollars to pay all of your negatives or at least three of your negatives on your credit report off and these get deleted your credit score goes up okay it'll take a couple months but your credit score will go up now you also spend 750 out this two grand that only leaves you one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars all right pigeon scratch buddy you still got 1250 left okay but you're still paying this back. You know what happens when you pay this back? Because it's coming out of your allotments, this is getting reported as a trade line, a revolving credit, I think it's a trade line, on your credit report. Not only did you knock these out, you are now building credit because you have on-time payments. And you can't mess these up. You know why? You know why? You know why? Because it's coming out of your own check. You have to set this up in order to get this. They're going to get their money. So you're building credit every time you do this, and you paid off your debt. And you had a little extra change. But the extra change should never be used just for luxury items. No, 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 no. You take a little of this extra change and you do what? If you're running into debt and you got things going on in life, you go get yourself a little secured credit card for 200 bucks. Now you got three different things going on. You got this paid off. You got this that you're actually paying. And you got yourself a secured credit card for 200. Maybe even get two or three of them. You now have positive credit working in your favor. Does it jump right away? No. You messed up over time, it takes time to build it back up. But this is what happens. You use this, this method, and you can actually build yourself back up. Just can't mess yourself up. Just a quick, sneaky tip on what you can do while you're working here. Also, somebody asked me about a TSP and how to invest in it. I, J, am not a financial expert. I, J, am not a credit expert. I really can't give you that type of information. But what I do want to tell you is that if you have if you're a career and you have not logged into your TSP thrift savings plan yet, you go to TSP.gov on a laptop. You have to go on there because they change service providers and you got to change your 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 login information, you got to change your passcode. It's a process. It, was, it took me 15 minutes to do it. It was just ridiculous. Once you go in there and you read this very small paragraphs underneath each of the funds that they have to offer, you will be able to make intelligent decisions. Well, I can't say intelligent because it's the market. We don't know really what's going on. You will be able to be make an informed decision on where and how to divvy up your money. Now, you divvy up your money on the TSP.gov end of it, but you actually allocate your money from the light blue end of it. So, light blue having to do with the actual post office, you're able to go on our page and say, okay, well, I want, you know, 13% going to the Roth, 2% going into the regular. Well, however, I'm not giving any numbers to you guys. That way, that money is now starting to build up. But if you just do it plain like that, 100% of it is going to go into one of the specific funds for when you retire. 
if you're retiring in 2040 or 2050, they have one fund, you can 100% of that's gonna go in there. And usually the slowest and safest fund. But once you go on the tsp.gov website, you are able to allocate the money that's in there already or future money and split it up amongst the different types of stock options, bonds, however you want to divvy your money up. Again, this is not a quick fix. It's not a quick make money overnight type of thing. This is you in it for the long run. I won't tell anybody what the percentages they should split it up in. That's just something that you have to think on your own. Ask a financial advisor because that money is your future. And you, once you do it, you can move your money ever, as often as you want. You can change the percentages. You want 10% of one, 5% of another, 30, you know, up to 100%. However you want to do it, that is done on the tsp.gov website. Allocating the money from your paycheck comes from the light blue website, tsp.gov. That's where you can play with the percentages going into your actual funds. Just a tidbit. Set yourself some goals aside because this place can and will change your life. All you got to do is make it change your life. This is J.H. What another one?